Okay, I got these new hats in and I made a video already about the buttons and how to remove buttons. Most of the hats I've run into look like the other hat that I have made the video for that I will put a link for. Both of these are different. I have never seen them like this before, but they come off too and I just wanted you guys to see this so I saved these two to show you. This first trucker's hat, if you squeeze this off, I don't just crush it, I'm slowly working it off. Cause see, it's got like some sort of metal grommet. And inside this metal grommet are three, three spikes that are looped inside of here. So the best way I found to get these out is to get out my old tin snips and I just start cutting this. And when you get it cut without cutting your hat and the pieces go flying, I'm not wearing safety glasses but maybe I should be. Now, if you don't know why you should remove buttons from your hats, I'll tell you. First, I want you to see these little hooks. Can you see those? I have a little pry tool here. I'm gonna straighten them out. Get the lips, they're hooked into the hat. So if I don't get these points to stick up, it's just going to tear. Two down. One to go. This always happens. If everything was easy that we like to do, then you wouldn't need to make videos to kind of show how to do things. And then if you kind of straighten these pins out, pry them out with pliers, because if I just try and pull this out, it's gonna pull material with it and tear the hat. Once you get the tip out, I guess I could have used needle nose pliers, something a little more delicate. But as long as the tip's out, it should just come out. You can see there's one. Now the reason you want to take these off if you don't know already, is when you are trying to wear your hat at the range, guess what? This will hit the button. Or if you're listening to music, your headphones will hit the button. I always just kind of go a little slow work it out, don't just tear, especially these ones. The first video I did, it was easy. It was just a little pin. So you can see that three spike right there. Now, the other thing is, if you're gonna hit your head with your hat, the button hurts. They're annoying. So annoying, in fact, that this is the second video I've made to do this. But I just, I wanted people to, to be able to see these different kinds because these hats, they're all different. They're made by different manufacturers. This one, the same thing. It's a little different as far as it's got a grommet also, but 
This one you don't need to just sit and cut apart. This one, once I work it loose to get to pop up, then it pops out. Then it's the same thing with these little hooks. It's hooked into this the same way. But if you straighten them, oh, I just got my thumb. I'm trying to do this and do a video at the same time. You think, I'm gonna bleed all over it. You think that the prepared sheepdog would be wearing gloves and not hurt himself. Well, my little pointy thing is that sharp. Okay. Almost. Working it out. There's no simple way to do things like this, you know, as far as easy, quick. There's always just a little bit of work to get that off. The little hooks, the hat will just pop off. Now the little bottom part, this is the part that hurts your head, because that's the part that hits your head. And it comes off. So there's this kind, and this kind. But they're both attaching just slightly different, but with the simple use of a little hook that's very dangerous, you can get them off. Now, both of these are button free. Scarlet, Scarlet, do you like button free? Do you like button free hats? <gasps> do you like button free hats? I don't think you care. You just like to hang out. She just likes to hang out. Thanks for watching. Keep watching.